Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrill's Algebra 1 and 2 class. Uh, today we're talking about exponents and order of operations. This is very important. Uh, it's essential for every math you're going to do for the rest of your mathematical careers. When we're talking about exponents or powers, okay, you have two things here. You have a base, which is the 2 here, and then you have the exponent or the power, which is the 3 here. And what the exponent tells the reader is the following. It says, hey, reader, multiply the base times itself this many times. So since I have 2 cubed, that's telling the reader, hey, multiply 2 times itself 3 times. It does not mean 2 times 3. It does not mean 2 times 3. It means 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8. So the exponent, okay, or power, tells the reader how many times to multiply the base by itself. As far as reading exponents go, always read as follows. You say, it's the following base to the blank power. For example, 3 fourths here, 3 to the fourth power, well, it's read 3 to the fourth power. So it's the base, 3, to the exponent power, fourth power. There are two exceptions here. When the power is 2, it's read as squared. When the power is 3, it's read as cubed. So 4 to the second power is read 4 squared. 8 to the third power is read 8 cubed. So those are the only two exceptions. When it's raised to a power of 2, it's squared. When it's raised to a power of 3, it is cubed. Okay, so let's try this out. 10 to the 7th power. Please do not multiply 10 times itself 7 times. It's going to be very lengthy, very long, very arduous, and you're probably going to make a mistake because you're a human being. What I want you to realize is when you're dealing with powers of 10 and only powers of 10, you look at the exponent, okay? That's how many zeros are going to be behind the 1. So 10 to the 7th power would equal a 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. Now place your commas, and that's 10 million. So that only works for powers of 10, okay? B, 3 to the 4th power. When we're looking at exponents, you have to realize that the exponent is only affecting the number immediately to its left. So only affecting this 3. So this would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which equals 81. When you have a parenthesis being raised to any power, that exponent affects everything inside of the parentheses. So this is 1 half cubed or to the third power. So that means it's 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which equals 1 eighth. Point 0.2 squared, or to the second power. Everything inside of the parentheses is getting affected. So that's 0 0.2 times 0 0.2, which equals 0 0.04. Two-thirds cubed. That means two-thirds times two-thirds times two-thirds, which would be 8 27ths. Is everyone with me so far, gentlemen? Yes, no, maybe kind of, sort of? Thank you, my brothers. Now, this is the important part. Okay. When you've got a negative number raised to a certain power, you have to remember that the exponent is only affecting the number immediately to its left. So what this really reads, gentlemen, is this negative is really a negative 1 times 3 squared. So that's a negative 1 times 3 times 3, which is negative 9. The negative is not being affected there. The negative is not being affected there. Now, if I did this, negative 3 squared, now everything inside of that parenthesis is being affected. So this would be negative 3 times negative 3, which would equal positive 9. Do you see that difference? It is huge and very important, my brothers. Okay. 
g, negative 3 cubed. Remember, this negative is a negative 1 on the outside times 3 cubed. So that's negative 1 times 3 times 3 times 3, which equals negative 27. Negative 3 to the fourth power, but only the 3 is in the parentheses. So this is a negative 1 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which equals negative 81. Bless you. Now, for E, this tends to mess up a lot of people as well. A lot of times, people multiply first. Why would that be wrong? Why would that be erroneous? Sir? Why would that be wrong? Why would I not multiply first? Yes, because of the order of operations. So in this case, the exponent is affecting this inside of the parentheses. So this is a negative 1 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Okay? How many negatives do I have being multiplied? 5. When you have an odd number of negatives being multiplied, the answer will be negative. When you have an even number of negatives being multiplied, the answer will be positive. So this would be negative 81. Does that make sense, brothers? Promise? Okay. Now, order of operations, guys. You've done this before. This is not the first time you've seen it. The acronym, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please starts, uh, stands for parentheses. So number one, you perform any operation or operations inside of grouping symbols, such as parentheses, brackets, braces, or absolute value. All of these are different types of parenthetic values. And we, we complete everything inside of there first. So that's please. Excuse. That's exponents. So you simplify any powers or exponents second. My dear, my dear is multiply and divide in order from left to right. You got to go in order from left to right. Yes, sir. Yes, in this case, you would go 8 divided by 5, whatever that answer is, which would be 8 fifths, now times 2, so that would be 16 fifths. Yes. You do not do 8 divided by 10. You always go left to right. Very good question, sir. Thank you. And then last but not least, at Sally, you add and subtract in order from left to right. So parentheses, exponents. Multiply and divide in order from left to right. Add and subtract in order from left to right. Does that make sense, my brothers? Awesome. Thank you, my brothers. Let's try to do some uh, examples here with order of operations. Okay, what do you think the first thing I'm going to do here first is? Sir? Okay, there's no 2 to distribute here. So that's, I'm sorry, wrong. Parentheses. Good man. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this is 6 minus 2 is 4 squared divided by 2. Next on the chopping block. Exponents. Exponents. 4 squared is 16. Divided by 2 equals 8. For number 2, what do you think I would do here first, gentlemen? Uh, yes, sir. That's right. So this is 5 times 7 minus exponents because there's no parentheses. 16 divided by 2. Next, sir. 5 times 7 is 35 minus 16 divided by 2. Remember, in order from left to right, so this guy would be 8. And then 35 minus 8 would be 27. Does that make sense here, guys? A lot of times, people will do this. They'll go, oh, 35, and they have minus 16 divided by 2. They'll go 35 minus 16, and then divide it by 2. That is wrong. You've got to multiply and or divide in order from left to right. When you have a situation like number 3, 2 to the 4th power minus 1 over 5, this fraction bar is actually being used kind of like a parenthesis. So what happens is you first have to complete the numerator, then you go and complete the denominator. So in the numerator, I have 2 to the 4th minus 1. 2 to the 4th is 2, 4, 8, 16. 
minus 1 over 5. 16 minus 1 is 15 over 5, which is 3. And then last but not least for number 4, what do you think we'd have to do first? Sir, that's exactly correct, my brother. 5 minus 2 is 3 cubed divided by 3. 3 cubed is 27 divided by 3 is, you guys are awesome. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay? Now, the more practice here, let me just show you what's going on here. When we do more practice. I like this site a lot. It's called CUDASoftware.com. CUDASoftware.com. Okay? This gives you a lot of different practice questions with a lot of answers at the at the end okay so if you wanted to look this up on your own you literally type in kudasoftware.com order of operations you feel me I'm just gonna go ahead and, and pick a few random ones and then we will continue um, let's see uh, like okay I like this one right here a lot it says 20 divided by parentheses 4 minus parentheses 10 minus 8 double close parentheses. What do you think I would do here first? Yes, sir. I'm very proud of you, son. This is 20 divided by parentheses 4 minus 10 minus 8 is 2. Now, this is 20 divided by 2. And then my answer would be, see how beautiful that is? How simple it is, really, if you just follow the directions. Does that make sense, guys? Promise? Okay, my brothers. How about this guy right here? Um, how about this guy? I like this one a lot. 15. You got 6 minus 4 in parentheses times 49 divided by 7. What do you think I do here first? That's exactly correct. I'm very proud of you. So 2 times 49 divided by 7. So now I do 49 divided by 7, right? Wrong. Good. I got you. What do I do now? Order from left to right. 2 times 49, which is 98, divided by 7, which is 14. Does that make sense, my brothers? Awesome. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. Let's uh, get back. Okay. So, with that in mind, evaluate any expressions. When you evaluate an algebraic expression, you do so by replacing each variable with a given number. Then simplify the expression using the order of operations. That's literally all you do. So what is the value of the expression for x equals 5 and y equals 2? Well, I have this, this first term here, or this first expression, x squared plus x minus 12 divided by y squared. So x is 5. five so I plug in the 5 where every x is. And y is 2. So I plug in the 2 where every y is. Does that make sense, my brothers? So now, order of operations. What do I do here first, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Let's try 5 squared, which is 25, plus 5, minus 12, divided by 4. That's my exponents. You feel me? Okay. Now what do I do? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. This is 25 plus 5 minus 12 divided by 4 is 3. And now what's 25 plus 5? Minus 3? 27. Ding dong, the witch is gone. That's it. How about for number 2? I got 3 times x, but what did we say x was, my brothers? 5. Minus y squared, but what's y, my brothers? So that's 2 squared. So now order of operations would dictate the following. 15 minus 4, because you do exponents first. Very good. And what's 15 minus 4? 11. Bing, bang, boom. Done. Does that make sense, my brothers? Promise? Okay. And now, find the value of xy squared for x equals 5 and y equals 2. And then compare the result with xy in parentheses squared. Well, if I have xy squared... And x is 5, I've got 5, times y, which is 2 squared. 
what do I do here first? You do the exponent. So this is 5 times 4, which will be 20. Now, let's see the difference with this guy. x, y squared, but inside parentheses. This would be 5, because x is 5, times y, which is 2, squared. Parentheses first, 5 times 2 is 10, squared equals 100. Huge difference. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Promise? Yes. All righty. And then on the next page, I am sorry, guys, we don't have time to do them all right now. But again, if you go to CUDA software and you type in evaluating expressions, it brings you to this page, okay? And again, you just plug in and solve using the order of operations. For example, let's do number four. It says x plus 9 minus x. I mean, y plus 9 minus x. Use x equals 1 and y equals 3. Plug it in, solve it. y is 3, so 3 plus 9 minus x, which is 1. Add and subtract in order from left to right. 12 minus 1 is 11. Does that make sense, my brothers? Thank you so very much. You are the best. Hope you learned a lot and have a great day.